Hello and thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning foodie, welcome back. Now let's make some moist, delicious chocolate chip banana bread. This is what you could do in case your banana is not ripened enough. What I'm going to do is put it in the oven at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes and this is what it should look like. You need to be extremely careful as it will be piping hot. So let that sit for a bit and then peel the banana, add it to the yogurt, blend and put it on the side. It doesn't take that long to prepare the chocolate chip banana bread batter. So what you could do in the meantime is to preheat the oven and to line your baking tin with parchment paper. Then you can proceed to creaming the butter. You need to make sure that your butter is soft. By that I mean soft enough that if you press on it, it will leave an indentation. But not so soft that it's runny. So cream the butter for at least five to seven minutes until it's pale in color, then add in the sugar. And whip for another two minutes or until the mixture looks like slightly grainy frosting. Next, reduce the speed and add in the vanilla and eggs one at a time and whisk until well incorporated. For this recipe, what I also did is to incorporate leftover chocolate. By that I mean, you know how you melt the chocolate to use for dipping in whichever baked goods and whatever is left, you line that onto parchment paper, let it cool and then break it apart. And that's what this is. So what you then need to do is pour some flour onto it. What this helps to do is to make sure that the chocolate chips are evenly disseminated across the batter if I can say that as compared to having them you know all at the bottom of the banana bread batter and you could also use chocolate drops or you could roughly chop a chocolate block and use that instead and now add in the banana puree and whisk then tip in the flour and mix on low speed Then in goes the dry ingredients, 
make sure the speed is on low just to avoid having a mess in the kitchen and after that's well incorporated then we're going to add in the chocolate chips And now we'll swap the whisk for the spatula. Fold the chocolate chips into the banana bread batter. Then tip it into the baking tray that should already be lined with parchment paper. Now this next part is optional, but I think it makes the chocolate chip banana bread look nicer. Um, so top it with some chocolate drops. Bake it in the second last oven rack for about an hour 20 minutes. Don't forget to rotate the baking pan halfway through. And if it seems like it's browning too fast, then cover it with foil paper for the remainder of the time that you need to bake it. After about an hour, make sure to test using a skewer. It should come out clean when pierced through the middle of the bread. And that's it really. Your moist chocolate chip banana bread is ready. Leave to cool completely before serving. I hope you make it. I hope you like it. And I hope you come back again so we can make other simple delicious recipes. Have a lovely day wherever you are. Bye.